Hi guys, in this lesson I want to talk about V-Ray Fur. You may have noticed that the rug we brought in with the bed model has something called V-Ray Fur attached to it. Now this is actually attached to the rug and it produces fur. So I'm going to open up our studio scene that we created in the earlier lesson. So V-Ray Fur is a tool we use to create fur in 3ds Max and the fur isn't actually in the scene. If we were to model fur or hair, for example, it would take up a lot of geometry and a lot of memory. The fur is actually only generated during render time. So to create V-Ray Fur, we need an object to apply it to. So if we create a sphere, and let's just make it 50 centimeters. I'm just going to move it up to here. I'm going to go over to V-Ray and V-Ray Fur. And as soon as I turn that on, you can see we've now got fur on our object. You can also use this button here to quickly create fur. It will do exactly the same as with the V-Ray Fur. So just make sure you have an object selected. And we can see already that's created some really nice looking fur. Let me just hide this. So at the gate that looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at some of the settings we can use. So here under length, this is going to dictate how long each strand of hair is. So as you can see, that's made it a lot shorter. And then thickness, we can make it really thick. And you'll see that's turned into a more of a carpet looking fur. And then the gravity is going to dictate in which direction this fur falls. So perhaps if I make this length higher, just make it 20 so we can really see what's going on. And let's move this gravity to zero, for example. It's just going to go straight outwards. And if we put it to plus three, it's going to go up. So this is kind of dictating the gravity. And we've also got bend. And you can see what that does, plays a role with the gravity. So we put the gravity to zero. Then we put the bend modifier on. And then we've also got taper. So what that's going to do is it's going to make the tips of each strand thinner. And we can see that in here. So the thickness is the same at the base and then it gets thinner. Next, this distribution control. So you've got per face. So we can see that's now distributing per face. So if we turn that up, you'd get more per face. Per area seems to be the way to go. If we put it on one, we're going to have a lot more going on. And then if we put that on point one, there's going to be a lot less. And down to point zero one, there's a lot less. You also got curl here, so so you can curl each strand. So let's change the area back to one. And I just want to show you that if you create another object, you can actually select the fur. And in the modifier, you can change the source object. So now it's going to apply to the box. And then you can apply it back to the sphere. So essentially what our rug has in our scene is this fur modifier attached to it. So it's always worth adding organic objects to visuals, things such as plants, cloths, fur, work really well to soften up the scene and just really push the realism of the render. So that's V-Ray Fur.